and good morning. Welcome to beautiful Amelia Island, Northeast Florida. We're gonna try ourselves out a little bit of car spotting. And we found a place that I think is gonna make it a little bit easier. We're out today on the Concorde d'Elegance. We're actually out here at the Cars and Coffee at the Concourse first. It's pretty, pretty good looking out here. There's a lot of really cool cars, beautiful machinery. So come on, let's go in and see what we can find. And the first thing we come across are these beautiful Alfa Romeos. Look at these, old and new. We've got a 64 right next to that, a 2001, and so on and so forth. I wonder if this is in alphabetical order. And we come across here, we have Corvettes. What's a B? Bentley? I don't see any Bentleys. Come down this way to this 1963 Polara, as notated on the front. I wouldn't be able to tell you myself, but then in front of it, we've got this cool Datsun 240Z. And then right next to that, this really cool, what is this, about a, maybe early 80s, maybe 70s Porsche? Ah, look at all the beautiful cars here. Check that thing out. An Allard. Ah, interesting. Alright, we finished up with the first section. There's a pleasant mix of old and new. All beautiful. BMWs, Porsches, Datsuns. There's a lot of old Corvettes. A fantastic mix of vehicles. We're going to come across this way. It looks like we're coming up to the uh, Mercedes Club. So let's see what they've got over there. Oh, this thing here. AMG GTR. This thing is insane. V8, twin turbo. Massively wide. Very cool. That thing is beautiful. Really like the color too. Be sweet if we can hear it start up. Well, this car is cool, modern. And then we've got this cool classic one in front of it. Look at that. XJR15 Jaguar. And then you've got the classic Porsche 356 right beside it. There's security here, so if you're, you know, just wondering how safe it is, we're okay. Oh, well, we got a couple of old school Honda or Acura NSXs. Very cool cars. Mid engine, three and a half liter V6. Very cool. Look at these colors. Man, this yellow is super bright. Whoa, look at this. Look at that. That stripe is cool looking. I don't even know what you call that. Hmm. Check that out. All these new cars are really cool and all, but man, these old Porsches, the colors on them are just really cool. I really like that. Man, there are all kinds of really, really nice cars out here. Everything from like classic, type things to like ultra ultra modern the new NSX ultra hybrid super technologically advanced really neat so anyways that's really cool got a couple of the old goats here a couple of them old goats look at that thing this thing is cool and that's a sweet truck I don't know if I mentioned but we're we're on like the golf course. All these really cool cars behind us. Old and new. Is that not cool? Man. Very cool. I am in, I'm in a line here for what looks to be some coffee. Free coffee. What's a uh, cars and coffee? without cars and coffee. Thanks, Heacock. If you need to transport your vehicle, I cannot think of a cooler way of doing it than with this. The Aero Vault. This thing looks really cool. I mean, down to the super cool wheels. And if there was a flood or something, looks like you could just about turn it upside down and use it for a boat. That thing's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at this thing. This is a three-wheel Morgan. It's got two wheels in the front for steering. One in the back for going. I guess, I mean, you know, how many do you really need, right? Looks like aircraft inspired. Very cool. Look at the, look at the rivets. 
in the inside. That is cool. Googies Coffee Shop? Googies. Oh, Googies. Googies Coffee Shops. Get your coffee from Googies. Look at the inside. Some nice comfy seats. They look uh, good for long trips. Look at that. That is a beautiful Porsche, I don't know, 908? Good grief. It's an old Lotus. Old Lotus, little small car. Tiny engine, tiny car. Pretty cool though. GT Cortina, Lotus Cortina. Look at that thing. That, that's pretty cool. And if you're looking for something that doesn't quite fit, then this may be what you're looking for. The Rhino GX. Look at this. This looks like something out of a video game. This is ridiculous. I don't know if you can see the scale. See the scale of this thing. It is fairly massive. On the opposite side of the spectrum, got this little guy over here. Whatever this little guy is. It's a moke. Tells you right there. Moke. Another cool thing about coming to the uh, Cars and Coffee at the Concourse, Amelia Island, is it's right on the beach. If you ever get kind of tired of the, the hustle and bustle of all the people and all the noise, you can just take a short walk off of a long pier and come out to the beach here. You know, maybe look for some... Uh, Look for some shark's teeth or something, or, or just some, you know, shells. See, it's a pretty nice little place to come hang out for a little bit if you want to slow down a touch, take a little break from all the, all the activity. Get a nice little walk on the beach. And then, we'll head back into it. Here we have the 720S, the new McLaren Sports Series. An amazing, amazing car. Beautiful car. Look at this thing. Good grief. Look at the lines. Here we've got a, a nice Maserati. Looks like some sort of wrap is on it. Color looks really good. It's a good looking car. The more practical Ferrari. Plenty of power, all wheel drive, hatchback, luggage space, beautiful. And also, if you're in the, the market for one of these cars, Ferraris, Infinities, Porsches, they are doing test drives. Just uh, put your name in the hat, or put your name on the list, wait your turn, Pick your car, and you too can test drive one of these vehicles. Like that. Alright, All right, so we walked down the road about a mile or so away from the regular Concours. What is it? Uh, Moto Stalgia. Oh, it's an auction. It's right by the airport here. Sweet Viper here. What the Vipers actually? There's a Lamborghini Diablo. You know what? Let's see what we got going on here. Here we've got the latest generation, the last generation of the Viper. Really cool car. V10, awesome sound, good power. I really was a fan. And here we've got one of the original 
Vipers here. Really was a, a, a neat thing for Dodge to do, was step out and make one of these things. And then behind it, we have a really cool Jaguar XK RSDT. Ah, oh, here we've got a Diablo. Man, that is quintessential 90s. Super wide, totally aggressive. It's like a spaceship or something. The SLR. This thing sounded so mean. The giant engine, V12, massive. The side pipes coming out of the side here, right by your head. When you think of a Ferrari Testarossa, you usually think of the 80s. This particular one, at least, is a 1991. It definitely screams 80s all over it. And then from the Ferrari Testarossa, tucked in the corner here, we've got another Lamborghini Diablo, this time a spider version. You can drop the top and enjoy the California sunshine. Look at this little thing right here. This is tiny. Here's the back. And I can take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps, and I'm to the front. That's how tiny this thing is. I imagine speed bumps may be a problem. It's a 1966 Ford GT40. It's built to destroy Ferraris in the Le Mans 24 hour. And it did a fine job of that. And Bentleys, the Aston Martins, Corvettes. BMWs, Hondas, MGs, E-types, you can tell by this really long hood, Pontiac, Cadillac, Ford, MGs, what is this thing? It says on the tag it's a 1953 Simca 9 Coupe by Facel, or Fassel. It's got the Flash Special in there, look at that gooseneck. This is a Packard, Packard Super 8, it's a big car. So we've had everything from really tiny cars to really, really big cars. What that thing is for, right there, almost looks like a step. I bet this back opens up and it's more seating. And then this is to help step up in there. So there's another step. So, you, so you've got a step and another step to get into the back. Now that's pretty cool. The old Packard Super 8. Pretty neat car. Man, look at that. Look at that. Pretty all right. Again, with these cool colors on these old Porsches. Look at that, that's a 19, 1962 356S. And the color is just so creamy. You know what I mean? It just looks good. It just looks good. The giant yacht of a car. 59 Cadillac Eldorado. Goes way down there. All the way. Back to here. That's a long way down there. Back to this vehicle, the Jaguar XJR15. I can't believe, like, some of these cars are, are old. Kind of old, you know, not really old, but kind of old. They look like spaceships. Oh, look at there. It's got a hole in the window. Well, that's not going to be good. You would think, with a car like this, it'd be pretty highly specced out, but it is. it looks like the wheels are held on by. What is that, a, a paper clip? Well, here's another one of these military vehicles. Or I assume they're military vehicles because they're, you know, green. This is green also, and so is that, so. This thing is neat, oh, pretty cool. It's really high off the ground. Looks like you could just about push on the top and push it over. Bloop. Oh, check that out. Must be Burt Reynolds or something. What a beautiful day out here. All these people and cars. The Peugeot 504. Very cool. I'm really drawn to these green colored cars today. There's a nice little 5 eight. This car can be yours. It's 280 SL, 285,000 dollars. Sold. These are, that just looks very, very luxurious in there. A little bit much for me, probably. 
This thing looks like an absolute beast of a car. Two thousand eighteen Cars and Coffee at the Concour slash Concour d'Elegance Amelia Island. A lot of neat things to see, cars like that you would not normally see. Plus just uh, getting together with people who are passionate about automobiles and automobile like things. Hope you enjoyed everything, seeing all the cool cars and everything today. You know, if you get a chance, come out to this if you see that the Concours d'Elegance is, is going on anywhere in your area. I know they have a few of them around the country that they do. Uh, around the world, actually. If you're in the area, definitely come check it out. It's really cool. Uh, you can see if you're into cars, you know. Uh, again, thanks for coming along. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. But as far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm.